Estee, what it is. Power 95.3. All right, so Estee's on vacation, enjoying her honeymoon, and we've got Ashley filling in. Ashley, thank you. Of and course. And it's time for some gossip. What it is. That's right. What it is. Disneyland was shut down Tuesday, and it was all Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon's fault. Nothing bad, though. This is actually a positive story. They were celebrating their five-year wedding anniversary on Tuesday. They had 250 guests uh, come while they renewed their vows. They renew their vows every year. They've only been married five years, but, you know, that's cool. They're keeping the love alive. 250 guests. 15,000 flowers were imported from South Africa, Holland, and France. 10,000 crystals. I mean, of course, it was over the top. What else would you expect from Mariah Carey, right? And they were basically decked out in all like princess attire. Nick Cannon was Nick wearing Cannon a prince ridiculous. outfit. Yeah, he, he looked, looked like the prince. Ridiculous! I he put a picture sharp, man. Facebook.com slash like Obi Prince. Yeah, yeah, back in 1340. What, dude? They have you know why not? It's better than it's better. I, I, I'd rather hear this story than Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey on the outs. You know, mm-hmm. uh, the battling for the kids. He punched her in the face. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's a good story. positive. <laughs> it's a good story. Yeah, yeah, and you know they have the two kids too, and the kids were even dressed up like in little princess attire, prince and princess. But so. I don't know. I don't know if I condone the way that Mariah was all drunk at the end of the night in Disney. And please <laughs> forgive me. Oh because I'm a little bit, um... Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Poor boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that wasn't a Disney, grand that, old time right that there. That wasn't at Disney, though. No, they, uh, <laughs> like I said, they do renew their vows every year. Last year, they did it at the top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, so that's pretty cool. And what it is, Chris Kelly, of course, this is not such a happy story. We lost another uh, hip-hop artist yesterday at the age of 34. Uh, Chris Kelly was actually also known as Mac Daddy from the group of Criss Cross. He was found dead in his Atlanta home yesterday, only 34 years old. There's no uh, reason yet as the official reason of his death. They're doing an autopsy today. Some autopsy. people are saying homicide, yeah. the drug use. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd like to hear about it because, I mean, you don't hear anything yet about if there was any foaming of the mouth that they saw, any right. blood or anything. So, yeah, apparently all that all that has been released is that he was found unconscious. So we'll see what happens with that. Of course, we'll keep you updated. And his mother actually came out with an official statement yesterday. She wanted to address the fans and everyone that was sending their wishes that it is with deep sadness that we announce that our beloved Chris Kelly has passed away on May 1st. To millions of fans worldwide, he was the trend-setting, backwards pants-wearing one half of Criss Cross who loved making music. So our thoughts and prayers with the family and all the fans. Yeah, man. Everyone thought it was a hoax, you know, because things like this happen on internet all the time. They say Lil Wayne died, this person died. And, you know, I thought it was a hoax until the brat came out and said, rest in peace to my little bro Chris Kelly of Criss Cross. Damn, weren't we just at rehearsal and doing the so-so death 20 anniversary show so exactly well. thoughts and prayers so that's what it is we do it at the 50 of every hour right here on the obi and low morning show and we got 1500